Hello, my dear patient. It is so very good to be seeing you. Yes. I take it you have been doing very well. Yes. Good, good. This is excellent to hear. If I had a heart, I am sure it would be beating right now in a very glorious and triumphant manner at hearing such good news about you. But unfortunately, I lent my heart out to a good friend of mine, the Tin Man. Anyway, welcome, my dear patient, to the very first body modification sign-ups, where you will be able to choose from a list of various body parts, arms, tails, even feathers of fur, etc., that you can enhance or exchange your body parts, current body parts, with something from this list. You can have just a one or a few items, uh, modifications, or you can undergo a complete transformation and look like something that uh, the world has never seen. Does this sound very good to you? Good, excellent, my dear patient. All right, well, what I'm going to do is we'll go through the list, and then once I'm done here and done seeing all the other patients, I'll return to my office, compile everything into the uh, computer, and then we will arrange, uh, set up an appointment where you can undergo the procedure. Okay? Do you have any questions before we get started? Oh, no. Very good. All right. Well, then let's get started. All right. Uh, may I have your patient number, please? Your patient ID number. Okay. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, what we are going to do is start with the very top, with the antenna and horns, work our way down to uh, uh, body add-ons that are available, down to the legs, and end well with tail and other miscellaneous add-ons, okay? So, here we go. We are going to start with a list of available antenna and horns that you can choose from. We have yak horns fruit fly antenna, unicorn horn, oh, very prized, uh, TV antenna, uh, the Zenith brand, okay? So if you're not getting very good reception, that may be something you wish to consider. Balrog horns, oh, quite rare. Carrion crawler antenna, death claw horns, Krakatot antenna, that is a species of uh, Pokemon, and or uh, you can choose no antenna or horns. So what will your selection be? And uh, let me remind you, uh, or inform you, I guess, that you can choose uh, one yak horn and then maybe uh, one Krakatot antenna, okay? But you only get one pair, two uh, total, okay? You cannot have two pairs of horns and then two antennas, okay? So, what would you like to choose? Okay, very good. Okay, my dear friend, moving on to the eyes now. The available eyes that you can choose from are common housefly eyes. If you ever wanted to be the proverbial fly on the wall, well, now is your chance with very multifaceted eyes. Cyclops eye, huh? Very intriguing. Third eye, so if you wanted to keep your own eyes, but then add a third eye, uh, it would be uh, quite eye-opening, yes. Tarantula spider eyes. Um, eyes of the beholder. Betty Davis eyes. Gila monster eyes, uh, spotted sandpiper bird eyes, uh, or no change to your current eyes. What would you like to choose? You 
can mix and match again, like I said earlier. Okay, very good. Okay, moving on to the ears next. We have available drow elf ears, elephant ears, vampire bat ears, gremlin or mogwai ears, fennec fox ears. This is a species of fox with very big ears compared to its uh, head and body. Very cute. Uh, patient 4192's ears. Uh, Yotan ears. Frost giants. Or no change to your current ears. Which would you like to go with? Okay, very good. All right, moving on to the nose. Uh, we have available red howler monkey nose, Siamese cat nose, Labrador retriever nose, Manticore nose, <laughs> bearded angler lure. This is like a little thing like a, a stem and a little nodule at the end but as a, is as luminous so it's good for attracting play or if you're not looking to attract play you could try to attract a mate or if that is not the case you could just have it there for a nice decoration okay so that is available the, uh, the bearded angler lore that was what that was uh, common wombat nose uh, deep on nose, like deep on Dave, <laughs> very handsome. Beast patient nose, uh, the beast patients from uh, Yarnum. Uh, or no change to your current nose. So what would you like to go with? So many good options to choose from, I know. Okay, very good. Okay, next we have the tongue. Here are the ones that you can choose from. Chameleon tongue. So if you ever wanted, uh, you are the, in a cafeteria here, the sanitarium, and you are tired of lifting your sandwich or whatever it might be, you just use your chameleon tongue and shoot it out and eat your sandwich that way. Or if you are looking to uh, uh, play pranks on people, other patients or the staff, you can shoot your chameleon tongue out and, you know, just uh, hit them in the head or whatever. Or you can use it for getting your maybe remote control. You are sitting on your sofa in your room, too tired to get up. Just use your tongue and grab the controller, see? So very useful, chameleon tongue. Burmese python tongue, snake tongue. Ant eater tongue. Very sticky, good for eating ants uh, or whatever it might be. Barnacle tongue. Uh, the barnacles from the uh, Black Mesa facility. Uh, Yoshi tongue. Very good. Giant panda tongue. Uh, Jabba the Hutt tongue. Or no change to your current tongue. What would you like to go with? Okay, very good. All right, just a moment. Let me just change the paper here. Okay, next available body modification, we have the proboscis. This is like the straw-like uh, nose thing that many insects have. They use to... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll let me explain uh, what the various ones that we have available. For instance, mosquito proboscis. So if you don't want a tongue, okay, you can go with mosquito proboscis. Use that to eat your food, whatever it might be. You know, drink the blood of other patients, or what have you, okay? Just make sure you get their consent first. Uh, Migo proboscis, okay? Uh, Mitra Mitra 
proboscis. Uh, this is a form of uh, species of predatory sea snail. Yes. Butterfly proboscis, very useful for drinking nectar. Elephant proboscis. Uh, many people call it a trunk, but it really is a proboscis or no proboscis. So on the list of proboscis it says that I have uh, listed here, would you like a proboscis or no proboscis? What proboscis would you like to go with? Hmm? You would like me to repeat the uh, proboscis for a little bit for you? You like the sound of that word? Sure, I can do that for you, my friend. Proboscis. 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 You have a very nice proboscis. May I touch your proboscis? Where did you get such a exquisite proboscis? Proboscis. Okay, so which option would you like to go with? Okay, very good. Okay, next we have the mandibles, uh, the teeth, and the beaks. So, uh, the first option is xenomorph, teeth, and jaws. Are you familiar with the xenomorph? Okay, yeah, you, you can have the complete set of the xenomorph teeth and that inner uh, protruding, uh, I guess you would say, the jaw, the other pair of teeth, okay? Uh, dung beetle mandibles, sloth teeth, colossal squid beak, very sharp and powerful, northern death adder fangs, little hamster teeth, yum, 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 yum. spider mandibles, <laughs> yes, very good, common kestrel beak, venipede mandibles, another species of Pokemon, or no change to your current teeth, okay? So what would you like to go with? Okay, very good. I probably would have chosen that myself. Okay, next is the body. You can actually swap bodies with any of the other body types we have listed here, okay? while retaining your other body parts, or again, complete overhaul altogether, okay? So here are the list of body parts available, or bodies available. Yellow-bellied marmot body, snowy owl body, tiger shark body, gelatinous ooze body, tinfoil body, Mr. Body's body, tarantula body, creeper body, uh, no body, if you do not wish to have a body and just have your head attached to your arms and legs, okay? And then don't worry, we'll put your uh, very vital and internal organs and squeeze them into the other uh, areas of the remaining body parts that you have, if you wish to go with that option. Or no change to your current body. So, which would you like to go with? What will your option be? Okay, very good. Next, we have body armor, okay? So we have a giant armadillo plates, very protective, okay? Pancake tortoise shell, thunder jaw body armor. This is like a dinosaur, but with uh, metallic plates, very strong. Oyster shell, snail shell, hedgehog spines, Andriga warrior chitinous shell, 
This is a type of uh, insectoid creature found in the forests of Velen and Skellige. Or, uh, oh, yes, and last one, Rust Monster Body Armor. Or, No Body Armor. What would you like to choose? Okay, you go with that one. Very good. Okay, next is a group. Uh, skin, scales, fur, and feathers, okay? So, um, and you can have them wherever you like. You can have feathers on your face, uh, feathers on your arms, fur on your your nose or your proboscis, uh, wherever you would like to place it and however much as well. Feathers all over, feathers only a little bit, fur, scales, also combination of scales, fur, and feathers. Okay, whatever you like. Okay, so uh, let's see. First we have Oompa Loompa skin. Okay, next we have modest forest tree frog skin, arctic fox fur, red crested taraco feathers, ancient green dragon scales, black or white rhinoceros skin, very tough and leathery, uh, western gorilla hair, Iberian lynx fur, uh, fulper feathers, it's a type of magical uh, African bird, tiger rat snake scales, uh, or no change to your skin, no additional fur scales, etc. What will your choice be? Okay, very good. Okay, and uh, where would you like uh, that placed? Okay. And then for your other selection, uh, how much and uh, where would you like that placed as well? Okay. Continue just a moment. Change the uh, papers here. Okay, moving on to the arms, and you can have as many arms as you would like, and that we can fit on whatever body uh, if you have elected to go with a body, of course. Okay, so our first selection is octopus arms. Okay. Uh, many people think they are tentacles, but no, the uh, octopus moves around on arms. I believe it does have a pair of tentacles that it uses for feeding. But the big ones with the little suction cups on them, those are arms, okay? Jigglypuff arms, it is a uh, breed of Pokemon. Hook horror arms is a... a mythical monster with long arms that end in very sharp, powerful uh, hooks, almost made out of bone-like material. Big Daddy Arms with your choice of rivet gun, heavy drill, or rocket launcher. Yeti Arms, Tyrannosaurus Rex Arms, Crested Gibbon arms, monkey arms, tentacles, patient 27's arms, elastic arms, wooden arms, or no change to your existing arms. What would you like to go with? You can mix and match as well, okay? Okay. And how many are each? Okay. Very good. All right, moving on to legs. 
Again, just like the arms, we can choose as many legs as we can possibly fit onto whatever body uh, or, or no body or we can fit to your head, okay? All right, so uh, centipede legs, blue-footed booby legs, <laughs> jumping spider legs, lobster legs, hobgoblin legs, zerg legs, strawberry poison dart frog legs, or chicken legs, or no change to your existing legs. You mix and match. Yes, you can mix and match again, like I said, with arms. Okay. How many of those? Good. Okay. How many? All right. Okay, moving on to hands, claws, paws, feet, and hoofs. And again, you can have as many hoofs or claws that you have arms or appendages, okay? Um, so if you have eight um, octopus arms or uh, 500 tentacles, we can put 500 cat paws at the end of each tentacle, okay? So, and mix and match, of course. All right, the first selection is calico cat paws and claws, hippopotamus hoofs, pink flamingo feet, banshee hands or feet or both, centaur hoofs, cockatrice feet or claws, hobbit hands or feet, xenomorph hands and claws, or no change to your existing hands or feet. Okay. And how many would you like of those? Very good. Okay, another. How many? Okay. Okay, very good. Next up we have tails. Again, you can choose as many tails as you like that we can possibly fit onto your body. Unless you chose no body, then how many we can fit under the back of your head. Okay, red scorpion tail, jackalope tail, kangaroo tail, stump-tailed skink tail, beaver tail, <laughs> titmouse tail, <laughs> Squirrel tail, Bigfoot tail, Kaiju tail. Uh, you familiar with uh, Godzilla? So tail like that, very giant monster tail, okay? Xenomorph tail, very popular. Or no tail. Which would you like to go with? Okay. And just that one. Okay, very good. Just a moment, let me change to the very last page and we are almost done. I appreciate your patience, my dear patient. Okay, next up we have wings, okay? Only one pair of wings and they must be the same, okay? Otherwise they will not function. Okay, dragonfly wings, very excellent wings. And they will be life-size, not very tiny, okay? We have ways of making everything uh, fit uh, so that they are, uh, coincide with your body size, okay? Dragonfly wings, very excellent. You can hover, you can move around, backwards, forwards, amazing. Charizard wings, another uh, species of Pokemon. Bumblebee wings. Mothra wings, it's kaiju wings. Butterfly wings, pterodactyl wings, chicken wings, buffalo wings, crier wings. Uh, these are a form of infected crows found only in Oregon. Wyvern wings, 
or no rings? Which pair would you like to choose, if at all? Okay, very good. I think you will enjoy those. Next, we have fins, okay? And you can choose dorsal fins, uh, pectoral fins, anal fins, etc. Goldfish fins, and you can also mix, mix and match. Sperm whale fins, <laughs> manta ray fins, hammerhead shark fins, catfish fins, seahorse fins, Vaporeon fins, another species of Pokemon, or no fins. Okay, very good. And how many? Okay, would you like a dorsal? Mm -hmm. Pectoral? Yes. And how about anal? Okay, very good. Anal fins. All right, and uh, the very last group is just uh, miscellaneous add-ons, okay, uh, spikes. Would you like spikes protruding from various parts of your body, okay? As many as you would like. Would you like some spikes? Okay, and uh, from what part of your body would you like the spikes to be protruding from? Okay, and how many? Very good. Spines. Like porcupine spines, sort of. You can have them protruding from various parts of your body. Okay. Uh, a spider spinneret. How would you like the ability to spin spider webs or shoot out a spider web on uh, your friends or family, play pranks, etc.? Just don't use it against the staff. Okay, or it will be buried in Margaret's garden indefinitely. Would you like a spider spinneret? Yes? Okay. A lot of our uh, patients have been selecting that one. A good choice. Uh, how would you care for a spit gland? Have you ever wanted to spit poison at someone? Now is your chance. Or we should also modify the gland so you can spit the chocolate milk. Lemonade, iced tea, or any favorite beverage, water, or lava. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a, a poison spit gland, but it uh, is a spit gland, and normally everyone chooses poison. <laughs> okay, you will like one of those, and uh, and what would you like the gland to produce? Lava, lemon. Okay, very good. And uh, last, uh, we have elemental breath. Would you like to breathe fire or ice or lightning? Okay. Yes, okay, very good. Which element? Okay. All right. Well, that will be it, my friend. Thank you all very much for participating. And like I said in the beginning, uh, once we compile the list, put it into the computer, clickety-clackety, uh, then we will, I will be in touch with you to arrange for you to undergo the complete body modification procedure, okay? All right. Well, it, again, it was a very, it's an honor to see you, my dear friend, very good to see you, and I hope to be seeing you soon in another treatment session, okay? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other patients waiting for the signing up for the body modifications. Okay, take care, my friend. Goodbye for now. <laughs>